Hey, Brick Barron's back, man, and I have a uh, special video today with Mike B, one of the subscribers. He did chip in five bucks on Patreon. I appreciate it. And uh, he wants to talk about the LEGO Speed Champion sets. This line was released in 2015. 2017 gave us the Bugatti, which is great. Um, retail price of 15 bucks. Parts 181. Great looking set. Now, just for me, my the set that I want LEGO to do is the V8 Interceptor from the old uh, Mad Max movies. I know they'll never do it, but um, at some point I will do it just for fun. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Anyway, so the set that we're going to go back in time with is the Speed Racer and Snake Oiler set from 2008. This was retail price of 20 bucks, current value of 57, parts value of 43. This set tied to the movie that was released that year, and the set is currently reselling for plus 10% of its parts value. Nice looking set, love the cars. The cars, I believe, are eight stud wide, but um, they probably should redo this one because I think with the newer pieces they have, they could definitely work on that front there for the, for the Mach 5. Anyways... Getting back to the Bugatti, which is, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know a ton about this car. I just know that I love it. I love the colors and the shape of it and the contours. Um, I wish that Lego would have been able to have it such you could open the hood to see like maybe some part of the engine inside or some doors that would get in and out. But um, I guess there's piece count limitations and it looks like they want to keep it around six studs wide. So six to eight studs wide. So uh, is what it is, right? So many figures to talk about. We have two from the Speed Racer set. Uh, their total value is eight bucks. Their average is four dollars. The forty percent represents their uh, their value is forty percent off the original retail price of that set. And the Bugatti, we just have one minifig. He's going for three sixty in the secondary market, and he is represents twenty four percent of the value of the retail price of the set. So room to grow for him, at least for a little bit. So parts value on the set as a whole twenty six dollars. Good spread with a retail price of fifteen dollars. We got we're getting close to that thirty, which is what we want. Two years after retirement, we've got some different numbers here to look at. So we have the parts going at 26 plus 10% because, um, that's because, and it gives 28.6. And then we look down at $15 for the original retail price of the set. Plus, the Speed Racer set did appreciate on average of 12% a year. We tack that on, we get a price point of 16.8 two years after it retires. And it looks like uh, the bottom here we have uh, 28.6 plus the 1 1.8. 1 1.8 comes from the difference between 15 and 16.8, meaning increase of two years out of $1.08. Um, so three possibilities there of numbers. Um, I am always much, much more comfortable with the lowest possible number, the 16.8. So I'm going to round it off to 17. That's still pretty good. That means the set is appreciating two years after retirement right at the tail end of its saturation phase. So moving on, we have eight years after retirement. We have three numbers to look at. We had $32 for the um, projected parts value in eight years plus 10% at 35.2. Our original retail price of 15 plus the 88% that the original speed race set appreciated, um, remember an average of 12% a year, would give us a price of 28.2. And then we move back to our 35.2 and add in $13, which represents a difference between 15 and 28.2 and getting us a price of 48.2. So um, three possibilities there. As always, I'm more comfortable with the lower end of it. So it looks like the set is just gonna double um, eight years out. And that's good. That still still represents a buy for me. The best case scenario is forty eight point two. Um, I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. That's probably like a really really best case scenario. I'm probably comfortable splitting the difference between twenty eight and thirty five. I'm going to call it around thirty, maybe thirty one tops, depending on the inventories. So really big bang for the buck, um, in my opinion. Getting a fifteen dollars set and being able to flip that uh, before eight years with a doubling. Uh, it does put a double before the eight years. Um, which is great. I mean, so if, if, if you're new to Lego investing, I mean, these are the kind of sets you should be picking up. Don't don't necessarily go out and buy like a big a Ghostbusters or, or uh, you know, Palace Cinema. You know, maybe start with something small like this because these retire faster anyways and just kind of learn the market a little bit before you get going. So that's the Brick Berry Man. And um, as always, I want to thank you and I will uh, talk to you later.